Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to create a video calling application with the help of Angular and the Zigo Clouds. The feature would be like that, share the room ID and the chat feature. Let me introduce first Zigo Cloud. So Zigo, Zigo Clouds provides us a multiple services like the video calling feature, voice calling feature, live streaming, in-app chat, virtual avatar, AI effects, super bots, cloud recording. So everything is the one single platform it has everything about it so uh, we are going to create one application with the help of the zigo cloud it gives us a uh, 10000 minutes of the time which can be used as a creating this application and testing that application so the links in the description you can start from there and you can create an your account and uh, once you create your account you will find some dashboard like this so i have already created one app one over here we'll talk about it later so this is how we can create your one application from here and uh, this is how the zigo clouds enables you so link is in the description so before going to start the actual application let me show you uh, how the architecture would be like this for this project so let's see this is our angular application so we are gonna create a uh, couple of things over here so we'll create one input box from here we can put the room id and we'll pass this room id to your another component this is the submit button so once you get your room id we'll navigate to we'll create two components one will be the we'll say home and another will be a room so here we are gonna write all the things which is related to Zigo Cloud. So Zigo Clouds gives us a NPM package which enables us to create our uh, our sessions with a token and it's enabled us to create the video calling feature and all the features. So we're gonna discuss about that. So uh, from here, we'll get the, our room ID and we'll pass that room ID to our kit from the, which is provided by Zigo Cloud. So we'll use over here. And after that, uh, we can open our conferencing application. So. Uh, it enables you to pass the room ID over here and uh, the user, whatever users needs to be joined. Then he, once he joins, then he can see the one join button and we're going to add some more features with it. So uh, you can share the URL as well from here. So it will be having the option. This is the URL and you can see from here. So this is how uh, you can ask any other people to join once it deployed to the server so uh, right now we are creating this application on the local so but i can show you with the different different browsers so it enables you to share that url and joins from the another user okay okay so i have already created one angular application in angle with the help of angular 17 so this is the default uh component which is loaded into the dom so we'll remove the unused code and we'll create a respected code which we required for this application so let me remove all unused code Let's save this. We'll create one folder over here. Pages. Let's create a couple of components inside this. So I will open integrated terminal from here itself. So I'll be needing CMD PowerShell, not PowerShell. So we'll create components now. NG generate component home and another will be a room. Okay. So room will take one parameter as we discuss. Let's create for another one and we'll add this in the path. And sorry, I removed G generate component. Okay, so path will be like this. We'll add, we'll load our component itself with the load component. Okay, so this is will be like this. We'll need to add one Got to give the path. Sorry, load component, not load children. Okay. That is complaining. Let me see. this then path we'll need to give the path properly first need to import our path so app then we have pages then we have home component then we have home component here okay 
So after that, we're gonna use, then we'll create one variable. This is fine. So we'll create another component, we'll which expect the one argument. Let's say room, it will accept one argument like this, room ID. Okay. We'll create like this, then we'll need to update these paths from here. Pick pages, then room, room component, and here will be a room component. Okay, so we have our routes now enabled. Okay, so let's me redirect. If there is no path, then it should redirect it to home. So add this like this. So path will add a wildcard entry like this. We'll redirect to Okay, like this. Okay, let's check this. Oh, okay, it's working. We have don't path, then it is going to box. This is fine. Okay, so as per as we discuss, we'll create that input box for our room ID. So we'll create here. So let's create one input. This then we'll give it a home component we need to add because we're gonna use homes module okay because we are going to use a model and all so get a room id it would be a string kind of okay and it is will accept initializer value so we'll give blank value for now because we're gonna not gonna add anything that okay so let's create ng model here And what is it? Room ID. Is it uh, room ID? That's fine. Okay. So we have room ID now. So let's check. Is it enabled? Okay. Let's print it. Okay. And we'll add one button. If you're using Angular material, then you can enable it with that. You can update it. So we'll write one function with the enter in enter room, let's say. Okay, and uh, we'll write like this. So it will allow us to get the ID, room ID, and uh, join, not join, submit. Okay, we'll create this function here and we'll try to print. Is it printing or not properly? Console dot log room ID this dot. Oh my idea. Let's check this. Is it working fine? Let me open side by side so it is easy to write a code. Okay. Let me close this. Yep, we're getting this. So this this is fine. Okay. So uh, now okay. So we got our room ID. Now we have to navigate to our another component, which is we have created in the room. Okay. For that, we are gonna use a router. If you are not aware about the new method inject, so we can create something like this a route. Then we'll inject, you will use the inject method, then activated route. Okay. So it will allow us to access the activated route, which is in the URL right now. Okay. Navigate by URL will pass here like this. It will give us a room slash room and we're gonna attach. So I should use tilde operator here instead of using the code. So we're gonna bind this ID at the end. So we can use this syntax with the room ID. Okay, so let's test this. Is it navigating or not properly? Okay, so now we are able to get the our uh, room ID. So let's go to the documents. We'll see the document what it says. Okay, so if you go back, let me show. You. Let me make it bigger. Okay, so what it says, uh, if you if this article you can find. So this is what uh, package we have to add. So let me add this package as well. Meanwhile. So, Stop and 
paste it. So we'll talk about that in a while. Let me add this package, not here. Okay, let it get installed. Okay, so our, we are using Angular right now. So we have to add this Jigo Cloud pre-built package in our project. And this is the random ID which created for the creating the room ID. So we are not going to use this. So we have our room ID. So we are going to use that only. So and we'll see this one by one step. So from here, uh, we can initialize our uh, Jigo Cloud get token test. So from here, we can initialize our uh, built-in methods with a Jigo UI and we'll get one ID, uh, key token ID, key token ID. So which we're going to use and initialize the call. So if you see here, zp dot join room so from here itself so we are gonna uh, enter in the room and we are gonna create that ui so let's see that as well so let me check is it installed yep it is installed okay so now we'll redirect it again our application and we're gonna add first let's this is done so we'll go to the next component or room component okay so now uh, we have a couple of things over here so we need to get the id first okay so we can use a ng on in it or ng view in it as well so let's go here in the document itself again they have taken this id from the url itself so we are not gonna do this we have our own methods to get it so we'll add that so let me open it side by side so it is easy to see the code Okay, so we'll implement the engine in it first. Engine in it, then we need to add engine in it method. So here we'll get our room ID from the URL. So for that we have to use a activated route. What is the activated route right now over here? So we'll create a private route method route variable inject method and the activated route okay so from here we'll get the room sorry route this dot route okay dot we'll read the params from here dot need to subscribe it let's create one variable param for now here we'll print it console.log over here console.log param and in the array we'll pass over the variable which we have created in the route so let's go to route and this is our room id so we'll pass this here and we'll try to get it is it let's go back to the home components let's reload once more time Oops, i have started not server let's start it again okay, it's working now Okay, let me pass ABC. Okay, room works and in the console we got it. Okay, this is from home component which we have printed earlier in the to get the value from the input. So it works. Okay, so we got our room ID now. Okay, so we're, we're gonna initialize our Jigo Clay now. So let me add. Okay, so that's fine. So we have enabled this now with the room ID. Okay, so from here we can create our root ID. Okay, so uh, with the help of this, what we are gonna doing right now here. So let me first copy. So let me show you. So what we are doing here, we are creating one root ID, and we'll create one ID with the root, and we'll pass in the template. So it will refer to that. So it would be like this. Let's create one div with closing and we'll pass root here. Okay. So this will refer to this object here. 
okay so that's fine now uh, let me copy this code for us okay so we'll write one by one over this okay so first this is fine so we don't need this we got our room id as well so we need this app id secret id and key token so for this we'll navigate back to the console dashboard so once you uh, logged in to the Zico cloud you will see this dashboard so from here we can create n number of the applications so we'll get the 10000 minutes free to use this and from here itself so you can manage your applications you can see your secret code app code so we're going to create one new new project from here so to get it so you can check the link in the description you can create your own account and you can start with using this so let me create a one new application we're going to create a video call. So we have too many types of the application. So we can create a multiple types of application. So you can check out this as well. So let me create a next. Let me give the video app name. So it is not saying that do not to use this So video app. Okay. So start using the kit. We're going to use this code. Because we are using the NPM packages and also we're going to use that. Okay, so it will take some time to create it. So meanwhile, we'll go to the Zico Cloud website and we'll review something. So if you see here for developer, they have created own documentation. What is the, how the documentation works, then what is the toolkit, UI kit we have to use. So, so this is the N number of the products they have. So if you go here, video calls, if you find more details about it. So if you are the Java developer, then these are the steps you have to follow for the Java. And they have the video tutorials as well, how you should be enable this. And the same way we have a different tech stack as well. So we have this Flutter web base. So right now we are using the web base, correct? And inside the web base, we are using the NPM packages. So if you go here, so it is asked you a set up the application, go to admins tool, then quick start. Use this, the which steps we are doing right now here in the creating that application. Okay, so now we'll go web base. Okay, so once it get created, so you will find the application here itself. So it is preparing. So see, this is the application get created for us now. Okay, so this is the app ID we have and this is the secret code. So we are gonna use this now here. Okay, so let me pull this to right side again, with the document. Okay. So I'm gonna copy these two things. We can create this ng on edit method so it is easy to place it. Okay, so let me add. in it in the implements okay so this is fine now okay so now we'll create two variables okay and the app id we know from here we have to get it so this is our app id okay and the secrets code we'll get from here let me copy this Both this value have used over here. Okay, so now this is the method Zigo Cloud, Zigo Cloud, Zigo UI toolkits, which provides us to generate the token for us. Okay, so let me let me copy this so we can utilize this method properly. Okay. We have to import this first. Okay. Once you import, we'll find these variables. It's saying it should be a number. So need to remove these codes from here. Okay. So this is fine. Okay. So room ID we have here itself. So we'll create one variable uh, room ID. And uh, it would be a kind of a string. Okay, and right now it should be blank for now. So we are gonna assign this value to this variable. Okay, 
So we'll pass this room ID here. Let me create a same variable. Okay. So now we have room ID here. So first of all, we'll see that what exactly this random means. Okay, so we'll see that we have passed this room ID. We have passed this secret ID as a string. Then we have passed, sorry, this is app ID. This is secret code. This is room code. So now you have to pass a user ID, okay? And the username, okay? So these are the two things over here. So user ID, we can pass anything right now. If I pass like this, UDG. Okay, and uh, if I pass instead of random ID, if I generate uh, date dot new date dot now. Okay, this will generate a uh, dot to string. It should be string. Okay, this will uh, generate a random number for us. So let's see now. Okay, so we have enabled our kit token now. Okay, so this token we have to pass to create an instance for the your application okay so we got the instance now okay we'll do the next steps okay so from here we can create a join room okay so let me add zp dot sorry zp dot join room method and we'll let me copy this so it would be easy we'll explain this Okay, so this is the one variable which we have. So it should be like this dot. Okay, okay. So let's talk about this. So what is this? Okay, so uh, from here we we are get uh, we have created the instance of it. Okay, so for the this method gives us a join room method. From here we are gonna pass this container. What is the container we have created at the top, which is the root. Okay, this is the container it will refer. So whatever things it will be having in the DOM, it will place to this container. So this is what we have created. And to cre shareable, create a shareable link, it asks us like to pass a link like that. You can give the your any name here. It will create a link for us, which we have created. So let's start over here. If you see now, it's already enabled. Okay, so right now I have stopped my camera. So it's already started enable. Okay, so let's go back again onto the home. We'll start from the beginning. So let's add uh, something test. Let's submit. We see now it is asking a generated random number. Okay, so random numbers means nothing but this. Okay, and the UDG will pass like this in the username. If I pass like this again, and if I comment now this, then you will find the UDG here. Okay, so this is how the user's name will be gonna pass from here. Okay, so we'll talk about the let another things. Okay, so this is the shareable link which we have here. Okay, and it will ask you to what room you have to join. If you see now, so we have room ID as a test. Okay, so let me copy this and uh, let me join first. UDG1. Okay, I did join with the UDG1 and let me open in another browser. Okay, let me add two here. Let me join. Okay, if you see. If you see both the places, it asking me rejoin. Okay, so why it is coming? So because this is the ID is gonna matching every time. So let me remove this here. And let me add like this. So we'll test it again. So you will relate more. Okay. So if I give you DG1, join, okay. I have only one person right now, okay. So same link, okay. I should be copy that link first. So let's go here and join with the UDG2. Okay, if you see now, we have UDG2 here. Okay, it's again asking us to go back. Okay, so something we have to update here. Okay, so this is the user, I think it is complaining. So let me do one thing. Let me add like this, both the place. Let's see how it behaves now. Let me rejoin. So add me UDG1. Okay. 
and the same thing we'll add uh, here with the let me add with the number itself okay we say now two person is here okay so one is udg which is from the chrome and another is from this microsoft edge so this is how it shows okay let me stop my camera okay and if you want to chat from here so you can chat from here as well hi if you see here then let's go you will see find this message here then we have a couple of things we can change the layouts as well so let me change the layout you can share your screen see change layout so you can change grid sidebar then you can share your screen if you want to share then you can stop stop camera from here so everything is there okay so this is the one thing uh, with the udg with the video call features over here so let me stop both the places let's talk about the code now again okay so this is how uh, we are gonna use this video cloud feature okay so it is very simple so if you see the only the 10 or 15 lines of code if you remove the shareable links it would be only the 10 lines of the code to create a video calling feature application okay and another thing if you go here so if i click here so you will find the too many methods so we are gonna right now we have created calling feature so we can create a live streaming feature conference application then the if you are the host then you will have some other permission so this is the things uh, we're gonna here we have provided okay so only 10 lines of the code we have to write okay it is very easy to use so try out the zero cloud once and let me know uh, if you tried or not then you will find uh, did you find this very easy or not so how many lines of the code you have written how can you improve this code very efficiently or anything so which or if you have any thoughts instead of creating the rooms and uh, other components so anything else so let me know in comment and uh, you will find all these links in the description so please make sure uh, so please go through this documentation it is very easy and if you are the react developer as well so you can go through the react site as well so let me show you the react code so this is our react code so it is also the same thing so if you remove this lines of code uh, which is creating the random id so it would be a very simple code so you don't need to add multiple things over here so same thing we have to pass a reference for my id my meeting here so we'll create already we have been same way we have created in the angular correct okay so so that's it for this video please check out this zigo cloud once and uh, let me know in the comment if you found this very useful or not all the links in the description thank you